In the U.S., President Trump has asked Congress to introduce stronger trade protections against imports of aluminum and steel products, once again stressing that the U.S. should match the tariffs other countries put on U.S. goods. Korea is a major steel producer and would likely suffer if that proposal becomes law. Park ji has more. U.S. President Donald Trump says he's considering imposing trade protection measures like retaliatory taxes and quotas on steel and aluminum imports, mainly from China. If taken, the measures are also likely to hit Korean steel products. The comments were made at a meeting with a bipartisan group of some 20 U.S. senators and representatives Tuesday as President Trump reiterated the need for reciprocal measures on trade. I mean, the word reciprocal is a very important word. We have uh, countries that are taking advantage of us and we're going to make it fair. And that I call that fair trade. When mentioning the U.S. chronic trade deficit, the U.S. president expressed dissatisfaction with Japan and South Korea over joint defense spending. We defend Japan, we defend South Korea. They pay us a fraction of what it costs. And we're talking to all of those countries about that because it's not fair that we defend them and they pay us a fraction of the cost of that defense. The Trump administration is currently negotiating with South Korea to revise the 2012 bilateral free trade deal between the two countries. AAP reported that Trump called the Korea-U.S. free trade agreement a, quote, very, very bad trade deal, vying to scrap the deal if the renegotiation doesn't yield satisfactory results. Meanwhile, Trump claimed that following GM Korea's decision to close its Kunsan plant in May this year, the car company is moving back to Detroit. However, in its statement, General Motors said it never announced that it was moving back to Detroit. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.